All right, my name is Mia Marlene Medina, and this is an image from my Melancholic Temperament series. It's untitled, but we refer to it as scene one. Uh, to begin Melancholic Temperament, the title for the series is actually um, a characteristic. Uh, it's part of the theory of, of four temperaments, melancholic being reference to individuals who tend to be more analytic and detail-oriented. Um, they're very deep thinkers and feel deeply. Um, melancholic people tend to uh, the traits are associated with serotonin. In fact, it's linked to suppressed aggression tendencies. And that's something that I embody in the entire series. Uh, melancholic temperament is an exploration of the darker side of human emotions that go suppressed um, and unexpressed due to fear of perhaps judgment or being looked down upon as weaker. This image particularly is one of my favorites of the series. It is planned to be large scale, 48 inches by 72 inches, so that the viewer is able to be engulfed by the scene um, and confront the person in the image as if they were actually in front of them. Uh, the image itself was an idea in the back of my mind for a very long time. In fact, it started out as an image that was designed completely different from what it is now. My original idea was to have this man standing in an empty field um, with fog surrounding him in a fire pit full of memorabilia, uh, walking away from the fire pit with the rope attached to his arm as if it's tying him to his past and his history that he's trying to escape from, uh, the fire would be engulfing the rope and inevitably engulfing him. But for safety purposes, I had to adjust that. And we decided, or I decided on this scene here um, as sort of a compromise for my ideas. Uh, the ax to the side was some, a last minute decision to include, I think, Adding that in the way that it's placed adds to um, the interpretation of the scene, how I interpret it from staring at it for so long and, and really taking my time with interpreting it personally is that he's dwelling in the sense of helplessness when the solution is so close, but rather than being rational and seeking out help uh, he sits in the in the situation and dwells on it um, how it fits into the the grand scheme of my series is like i mentioned previously this exploration of suppressed emotion um, he's deadpan in the scene in order to highlight the unnatural um sort of the sense that that suppressing emotions really is in reality is it's like we are we are human beings that have this wide range of emotions and we should be able to express them normally but it's very difficult for a lot of people in the world and with melancholic temperament i hope to create a foundation for open discussion about these darker emotions and hopefully allow through this series a, a discussion to form that allows these people to seek help and erase the taboo and stigma surrounding these emotions. Thank you.